Uh, Back on the water. Yeah, feels good. Well, now that my heart rate's down. <laughs> that was kind of a uh, challenging departure with the way we had so many hurricane lines on. Oh, getting them all undone. Was heart racing. Yes, heart <laughs> racing. But we're good. We're on the water. We're heading up the St. John's and starting our river cruise. It's a, an official side trip of the Great Loop and one we've been very excited about for a few months to, that we decided to do this one. This is a river here. We have left Ortega Landing, and we are river cruising. This is our, last night was our third night at Anchor, and it felt so good to be back out on the water again, exploring the St. John's River. Um, where have we stopped so far? So first night, we, we anchored at uh, Doctor's Lake. Yeah, we had a, a mission plan there. We had a, many recommendations for a place called Whitey's Fish Camp, which is supposed to be fabulous food. You can take get there by dinghy at the very tip of Doctor's Lake. That was a... a almost got there. We got almost in, in smelling distance of this restaurant and um, well, we had an issue. And that's what led to us now having a Yamaha instead of a Suzuki. We have a totally different video just covering just that aspect. And our long row back and all that other stuff. We made an adventure out of it. It was a, a, a bump in the water but you know, we, within a, two days we had it resolved. So, yay! <laughs> uh, that took us to going to uh, Doctors Lake Marina to for some diagnostics, and then down to Black Creek. Yes, uh, so we anchored out, and Black Creek is a, a very deep water creek that actually goes up 15 miles off the St. Johns River navigable for quite a ways. And right at the entrance is Black Creek Marina, and a nice little anchorage. But you are right by the the main bridge. road bridge. But um, that's where we handled the engine swap out because we had to be able to row to shore to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then after we got that all set up. We moved on up the river. We're now about a mile, mile and a half yeah, up, into up, the river. Up the creek. Up the creek. Yeah. With, pad with paddles and engines yes, now. Yes, that's awesome. So here we are on Black Creek. It's a little side river off of the St. John's. And we have reports of a six-star rated anchorage on Active Captain. Well, one reviewer said so. And uh, we're looking forward to a little kind of remote anchoring this evening after a couple nights worried about the dinghy motor uh, so it'd be good to go get some alone time and be surrounded by nothing but trees water and wildlife And we just had the most tranquil evening oh out here, uh, just listening to the birds and the crickets. You can just kind of barely hear the uh, the bridge a mile and a half away, yeah, but after, the traffic. Yeah, after the sun went down, we were the only boat on this creek. It was just, we, we had the place for ourselves, no sign of other humanity around. And oh my God, this morning it was just so gorgeous. It was like sitting in the middle of a molten gold. Um, at sunrise as the sun came up over the creek and this is just a beautiful spot. Oh, it uh, wasn't quite the start to our St. John's River cruising, but uh, I think we are set up now to enjoy the rest of this cruise and we're looking forward to the places that we'll be discovering over the next month as we uh, explore little side lakes and creeks and uh, get make our way to Sanford.
point now, Cherie. Where are those in my boat? I think that's the little one, and not the sunk one. Yeah, definitely not the sunk <laughs> one. Did you know there was an actual spring in Green Cove? Why would they name it that otherwise? I don't know, marketing? <laughs> it's true, like the Mosquito Lagoons and stuff. Okay. they just wanted me to have to write a really long name on my address. <laughs> yes. Okay, here it is. This is Green Cove Springs. And we made it. <laughs> Green Cove Springs and the rear view mirror, yes. rear view camera, whatever. We, we finally got to see our house in uh, Green Cove Springs. Which is a little box. <laughs> a little box, about a one cubic foot. And um, we had a lot of mail pass through that one cubic foot little box. In the last five years, we're apparently considered one of the old timers there in the established neighborhood of yes. uh, St. Bernard's Isles little uh, facility. They have expanded greatly over the years since we joined in 2013. Uh, it's really great to see the facility and meet the staff there. I get to talk with Scott and to get an idea of what's up there and uh, feeling confident that they've, they've got this uh, voting issue as well handled as it can be right now. And, so. and they've got some pretty cool plans for the future as well. And so we're, 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 we're feeling really... Watch out for the yeah, crab pot. I see the crab pot. We're feeling really good about the, the future of St. Brennan's Isle and the future of um, um, voting in uh, Green Cove Springs for all of us who live there. And um, yeah, this is... It was, a, it was a good visit. We were just there only one night, really. Well, we've technically been in the county in Green Cove Springs yes. proper for the last five nights. Yes, but um, we anchored right off of downtown. They have a nice municipal dock. We got our library card. We actually uh, borrowed some movies last night from the library. Yeah, it was great. The library is walking distance to the dock. Uh, there's a couple of good restaurants walking distance to the dock. No grocery store, just a Walgreens. Um, but a grocery store is about a mile and two miles away. But, yeah, good little visit. Um, Really, I was really impressed with the waterfront area, the park area. And this is probably going to be a really windy video, so I'm going to say let's shut up and cruise. Okay, uh, next, on to the next stop. Okay. Kiki driving a boat. <laughs> you would rather drive your food dish? No. <laughs> Tortured kitten. So we just passed under the Shands Bridge. This is what sets the limit for as far up the St. Johns River that as sailboats and other tall draft um, boats can go, because it's only 45 feet above the waterline, whereas everything up to this point is 65. Um, so yeah, a lot of boats are stopped there, but they apparently have plans to replace it with a taller bridge, so opening up all this place for exploration for other kinds of boats. There's a lot of awesome cruising up ahead that unfortunately our sailing friends can't join us for. <laughs> yeah, when we were traveling with Elliot and Ann, we were contemplating, let's go up the river until we realized, oh, masts. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> backwards while we're driving. I have to match up my oranges. Match up your oranges? This is this a Florida citrus thing? Yes, totally. Huh. Those are called ranges. Range markers. And? And I need to line them up in my rear view because that will cook me on course for a narrower channel up here. Which we're really not concerned about. It's in the nature of the larger boats, but we're practicing. Yeah, look at that. You're lining them up. There we are. We are practicing with the range. We're going we're going down range now. And then there are also radar markers so we can see them on our radar as we get further away from the first one. We'll see two blue dots and they'll line them up. Yeah. This is how people did it in the days before GPS and always good to have uh, backup Back plans. I'm not kidding. Yes? Any safety inspections? I think she wants to call out an empty pan pan. Empty pan pan? No. 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 Empty pan pan. Is it dinner time? Emergency. Emergency. Empty food dish.
Our next anchorage would be Deep Creek. We couldn't find much information on it. Some of our charts showed not much depth, and some shows a lot. And we also showed some submerged pilings to be careful of. So I stood on the bow, kept watch, and we had no issues getting in, and found a great anchorage right around the first bend. However, we drifted a little further back than intended, and we're sitting right in mud. We have no problems getting out. Oh, and our mechanic says that's mostly steam, not smoke. These little side creeks are actually incredibly deep. We're sometimes reaching 15, 20, 40 feet in depth, but we still take it easy. Uh, there could be submerged trees and other th obstacles, so we go slow, keep a watch out, and we just putz our way on out. Join us next time as we continue exploring up the St. John's River as we head south to Sanford. If you like these videos, please do give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. These videos are made possible by your enthusiasm.